All right, guys, welcome to day four of our video curriculum. So for the little champions, basic, and black belt trainers for today, we're gonna do an awesome workout to get started, and then we're going to go right into our kickboxing and a little bit of Krav Maga technique as well. So um, what I put together for you guys is an awesome workout. We're gonna call it the GOAT workout, as you know, Tom Brady no longer is with the Patriots anymore, so we're just gonna do this kind of to honor him. So I have planned 12 different exercises for us to do because Tom Brady was number 12, and we're gonna do each of them 12 times, okay? So um, I broke them up into three different sections. So we have one cardio, one upper body, one core, and one leg workout. And in between each section, we'll take a water break. So um, what you guys need to have ready for you is a bottle of water, uh, your belts, which can be off, because we're gonna need them for one of the exercises, and a chair, okay? so. Um, very quickly, we're going to get started. So sit and take a bow. Now, for the very first workout, uh, for the very first section of workouts, what we're going to do um, for our cardio, we're going to do our star jacks. Okay, so instead of just going in and out with jumping jacks like that, the star jacks are a little bit different. So you're going to go do almost one full jumping jack before you touch the ground again. So we're going to do this 12 times. And then we're going to do 12 sprawls. Okay, so just like what we've been practicing before. I'll do it back here so you guys can see a little bit better. So our hands go to the floor and then we shoot our legs out and our hips drop to the floor here. And then we come up back in our guard stance. So we're gonna do 12 of those. We're gonna do 12 fingertip crunches and then 12 Mary Catherine lunges, okay? So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be here. All right, so let's do our, our star jacks first. Ready and go. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right now, right into our twelve sprawls. We're gonna do twelve fingertip crunches, twelve Mary Catherine. So we're here, ready, twelve sprawls. One, two, three, four, five. Now right into our fingertip crunches. So for these ones, team, remember, we're balancing on our butt. We're using our fingertips as well. We're just going in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so now we have our reverse lunges or Mary Catherine's. So for this one, team, we need to make sure that we're doing 12 on each side. So we're gonna start here. All right, so this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. All right, team, grab a drink of water, and then I'll explain the next set of drills. All right, so this is one of the ones you're gonna need your belt for. So, for our cardio, actually we'll need the, the chair as well. So grab your chair, grab your belt, and the very first cardio one that we're doing is seal jacks. So seal jacks are, we can go, sorry, out and in like this. Then we're doing inchworm push-ups. So inchworms, we start here, <coughs> we put our, Move this out of the way first. We're going to put our hands right on the ground. We walk ourselves out into a push up position. We do one push up, then we walk our hands back, and we clap it out. Okay, so 
Those are the interim push-ups. We have 12 of those. We're gonna do 12 bear crawls. So this is what you're gonna need your belt for. So from here, you can lie your belt down and the position that you guys wanna be in, uh, you guys want to make sure, number one, your hands are on the ground, just like this. Your feet are also on the ground and your knees are just gonna be a little bit above the ground. They're not gonna be touching. They're just gonna be a little bit above. Okay, team, so we are gonna use this to walk down our belt. So our bear crawls are gonna look like this. We're gonna have um, our right side on the right side of the belt and the other side on the left side. And we're just gonna walk. Okay, so every time we come back, we have to walk forward, we have to walk back. Every time we walk back, that'll count as one. And then we need our chair. We're gonna do what's called Bulgarian lunges or Bulgarian uh, split squats. So you're gonna have one foot up on the, on the chair and your other leg down. You just go down into a lunge and then come back up. Okay team, so let's get started with our very first cardio exercise, which is seal jack. So we got 10 of them, or I'm sorry, 12 of them coming right up, ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, right into our inchworm push-up. So we're gonna be here. We start standing up. We go down. We walk our hands out. We do one push-up, and then walk our hands back. Clap it out. That's one. Push up. Walk it back. That's two. Push up and back up. That's three. Four. That's five. Halfway there, team. Keep going. That's seven. Eight. Almost there. Four more. Nine. Ten. And last one, best one team. Let's do this. And 12. All right. So next, we're going into our bear crawls. So make sure you have your belt on the ground somewhere. All right. So like I said before, we're going to get down to that bear crawl position. So our hands are going to be on the ground. Feet are also on the ground but my knees are a little bit up. Okay, so I'm gonna use my, my belly muscles to bring my knees up. All right, team, so we're here. We're just gonna walk, 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 and then walk it back. All right, so that's one. That's two. That's five. Okay, for a second team, stretch your arms out a little bit. These ones are tough. My belt's a little bit longer. This is a bit longer. All right, ready? Again. And let's go. Eight. Nine. Ten. 
your arms out. And we're back to work. Two more. 11, last one. All right, Dean. So, belts aside, now we're gonna use our chair. So, like I said, these are for the Bulgarian lunge, Bulgarian split squat. So, we are here, so we're gonna put one leg up on the chair. The other leg's gonna be pretty far away. From here, team, we wanna keep our hands up and we're just bending our knee, going back up. That's one. We have to do 12 on each side. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, two more, eleven, and then twelve. All right, other foot right away. Oops, there we go. All right, make sure you get your balance team. And Grab a drink. We have one more circuit to do. Four more exercises. That's it. And then we're gonna we'll get right into our kickboxing stuff. All right. So you don't need your belt anymore. We will need our chair. We have 12 regular jumping jacks. We have 12 tricep dips, which is what you're gonna need your chair for. So, you're gonna set your chair up and you're gonna put your both hands right on the edge of it. Okay, so from here, you have your knees bent, have your legs straight, whichever, whichever one you would like to do. And we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Okay, so we have 12 of those to do. We have 12 zombies and then 12 sumo squats. So sumo squats look like this. We're gonna get down, have your feet super wide. Okay, you can't see my feet. You're gonna have your feet super wide and your toes are going to point outwards, okay? So instead of having them straight, like in a normal squat for this one, toes pointing out. Then have your hands up. You're just gonna go down and up. Pretty easy sumo squat. So, like I said, we have 12 regular jumping jacks, 12 tricep dips, 12 zombies, 12 sumo squats. Super easy, ready? Get my chair ready. And get my music on. All right. So, 12 jumping jacks, ready? And go. So, right into our 12 tricep dip. So, grab your chair, set yourself up. So, like I said, hands are going to go right on the edge and your butt's going to hang off of it. Okay, from here we go down and up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. All right, so we have 12 zombies to do. So we all know what zombies are, but in case you don't, we have our feet out nice and straight, just like this team. Our hands, the goal is to try to get our hands to touch our toes. Before we do that, we're gonna lie all the way down and we use our belly muscles to help us sit up and touch. Okay, so that's one. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, and twelve. All right, so. Stand up for me. We have 12 sumo squats and then we've done our 12 exercises for today. So, feet out nice and wide. Make sure your, your toes are pointing outwards and come down and up. Down and up. Six. Eleven, last one, twelve. All right, team. Grab a drink of water. We come back. Grab your kickboxing gloves, and we're gonna learn a bob and weave today. minutes um, on the bob and weave okay because it's actually really simple now we talked about um, let's say someone was swinging towards your ear or towards the side of your face one way to defend it would be to cover okay if you are getting a straight punch right towards your nose one way to defend that would be to parry last time we talked about or last week this whole month we've been talking about slip jab okay so you just let it go right by you okay right over your shoulder and you follow up with the combination now for the bob and weave, it's kind of like the slip in the sense that you want to just get out of the way of it, okay? Or if someone's coming at the side of your face, you're just gonna duck underneath, get out of the way, kind of like a slip. So when we do our bob and weave, it's really important that we always keep our eyes up on our target, okay? So if you can see, if, if your laptop or wherever you're watching me is, on, is in front of you, you want to make sure that every time you do your bob and weave, you can see me the entire time, even when you're down here. Okay team, so the bob and weave looks like this. If I'm in my kickboxing stance here, I'm gonna go down just like this. Okay, now this is what you don't wanna do. I don't want you guys to bend here and not use your legs at all to do this one. Okay, because then you're looking down for a second. Okay, whether you're, whether you're in a kickboxing match or someone's trying to hurt you or take you away from your family, if you look down for a split second, you're not looking at your, at your opponent, okay, or your attacker. So. You want to make sure that you're keeping your eyes up the entire time. So instead of bending, instead of bending like this to dodge out of the way, we want to bend like this. Okay, so you want to use your knees a little bit. So here, team, we're going to have our hands up. We're going to bob and weave and end up closer on this side. Okay, team. So your right leg or your favorite leg is going to be in back. Okay, so and that's the side that we're going towards. So I'm going towards my right side, my rear leg. I'm going to bend my knees, move over just a little bit, and come up over closer to my right side. Again, I am coming down this way, and then coming up on my right side. So we're gonna go down, over, up. Now eventually, as you guys get better at this and you get faster, it's all one motion, almost like a dance. Okay, team, so if I bob me to the right, I can very easily bob me to the left, okay? Just like this. So again, your hands are up. We're going to bend down, come up. All right, now, now that we know how to do the bob and weave, we're gonna follow up with our cross to cross combination. So before we worked on slipping the jab, okay? So a jab was coming right at our nose. We would slip the jab, cross, hook, cross. That's the same combo that we're actually gonna use now. So, my hands are up. I'm going towards my rear side, so I'm gonna bob and weave towards my right. Then this hand's gonna come through with a cross, hook, cross. Again, we're going down and over, cross, hook, cross. One more time with our hands up. We're going down and over, cross, hook, cross. 
All right, team, so um, that is the bob and weave. Later on in the week, we're going to talk about bob and weaving to the left and what you can follow up with that. For now though, let's take our gloves off, okay, because we're gonna go right into our self-defense or our Krav Maga techniques. So grab a drink of water and For this next part team, we're gonna continue with our, if someone sneaks up behind you and tries to grab around your neck from behind. So with this technique team, the main thing that I want you guys to work on, number one, first, well, first we're just gonna set up the, the shoulder right, we're gonna review everything that we did last time. After that, we're gonna work on distancing and then um, if you guys have a partner, like a parent or a sibling or a friend at home, we're gonna put it all together um, at the end. So let's quickly review uh, the rear choke. So let's say someone sneaks up behind you, okay, or behind me. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands up. Okay, this is very important to you. If anyone tries to grab your neck, the first thing that you usually do, even if it's someone tickling your neck, you bring your shoulders up. Like you're saying, I don't know. Okay, team, so that's really important. You're gonna bring your shoulders up. At the same time, you want your hands to come up too. Okay, so you're doing this one. From here, I'm gonna set up my shoulder break. Okay, now, last time on Tuesday, we talked about whatever side you're wrapping around with your, your hand, that's the side that you're gonna to spin to. Okay, actually, can I borrow you, sir? So, if Mr. Golden is the one that's sneaking up on me, he grabs me. From here, if I shoulder break with this hand, I have to turn towards that side, because it's gonna clear his hands out of the way. If I shoulder break on the other side, and I still torn, turn towards this way, he can still choke me, which is not good. That's not what I want. So from here, I want to make sure I'm shoulder breaking and turning towards that side so I can follow up with my strikes. Okay, team? So same idea. Let's say you have something behind you. If you have a wall or a couch or something that's nice and tall, you can stand right in front of it. That's what I recommend, at least for this part, because we're going to practice distancing or getting away from your, from your opponent. So hands up. You're going to shoulder break and you're gonna use that side to get their hands off. Okay, now I know you don't have anyone grabbing you right now. Your shoulder is gonna, or your elbow is gonna come up over your head. You're gonna shoulder break. From here, the side that was shoulder breaking, you're gonna to pretend to come crashing down on their arms, okay? Because you're thinking their arms are still there, so you're gonna use your, your elbow that you just used to shoulder break to come crashing down on their arms. From here, team, it's very easy to set up an elbow. Okay, so from here, I can set up my elbow, hammer strike, punch, and then a front kick to the groin. Okay, team? And look how far away from the wave master I am now. Before, they, came, they snuck up behind me, my hands were up, I did my shoulder break, I was here, came crashing down on their arms, elbow, hammer strike, punch, and I'm kicking, and now they're further away. Okay, team, that's really important too. Because if you throw a really awesome elbow and a really awesome hammer strike, but you're still really close to your attacker, you wanna try to get a, far away from them, obviously. So from here, after we throw our kick, okay, we're gonna keep our hands up just in case. And then our goal is to scan for any exits, okay? So we're looking around, we're seeing our best way that we can escape, okay? So if you're inside, it could be a door to the outside. Or if you're already outside, okay, it could be, I don't know, anything, anywhere, anywhere to run, okay, as long as it's safe. If your attacker has friends that are trying to help them, you want to get away from them, maybe you're running towards mom, maybe you're running towards dad or a police officer or anything, okay, team? So, again, you're going to stand up against something if you have anything. Your hands are going to go up, shoulder, break, crash down on your attacker's arms, elbow, camera strike, punch, kick and then you're here. Okay, team? So, um, there are, t I mapped it all out. There are 10 moves that we have to do. Okay, 10 moves for the um, rear choke. So, one is the setup, okay? So you bring your shoulders and your arms up. Two, you're gonna set up your shoulder break. Three, you actually do the shoulder break. So you turn. Number four, you're gonna come crashing down. Five, elbow. Six, hammer strike. Seven punch, eight kick, nine, you're gonna set your hands up, and 10, you're looking for exits. Okay, team? So now, if you have a partner with you, let's do that, so can I borrow you again? So it's always better to work with a partner if you have a parent or 
sibling or anyone that's home with you right now, I think it'll be a really cool time to, to get them involved. So your partner's gonna sneak up behind you. They're gonna grab. Very first thing is you wanna bring your shoulders up and your hands up. You're gonna set up your shoulder break so your hand has to almost go all the way around like you're trying to squish your attacker's fingers here. Then you turn. Your elbow is already set up to come crashing down here. Elbow, camera strike, punch, kick, sorry, and then, and then push. See how far away he's went off the camera. Okay, so again, here, and here. All right, team, now let's break it up by numbers again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm looking for my exit and I'm taking off. All right, guys, thank you, sir. All right, so team, um, you guys can obviously keep practicing that with your partner or whoever you have at home with you if you would like. Um, make sure that you guys send me awesome videos of what you guys are doing. I love to see all the videos of you guys doing your workouts and working with partners and everything. Um, great job with our GOAT workout. I know it was kind of crazy. I definitely worked up a sweat today. And um, next week and even later on this week, we're gonna continue working with our bob and weave, um, going to different size and different combinations that we can set up too. So um, we have another video coming out tomorrow, another video coming out Saturday, and we're also trying to get what's called Zoom Classroom, Zoom Live up and running as well. So we'll actually have a live class and I can see all you guys at the same time and it's almost like we're in a regular classroom. So I'm really excited to get that set up. Um, we're still working on how to get the information over to you guys and probably what time will be best for everybody, but stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, so also make sure that you guys are sending us videos and pictures because not only do we love to see that you guys are working at home, but also they'll count for attendance, raffle tickets for the drone that we're still giving away. So make sure that you guys are doing that and uh, just keep working on your intensity. Keep working on having that positive self image. I love to see everybody's schedules and they are working in their martial arts and everything. So. I'm really proud of you guys. Keep working, keep training, and uh, black belt trainers, make sure that you guys stay tuned for a video on Kali Sick. All right, so great job today, guys.